Hello, VDOFX here. I came across this design on Pinterest and thought the lighting looked interesting. Let's try recreating this specific setup. I went on Sketchfab and found a similar looking model by Pixel Legolas. We will use this to light. I downloaded and brought the model into C4D. Let's first set the camera to match the angle. I will change the focal length to 150 and then adjust the camera to get the angle I want. Let's go with this. I will start my render view first. Then let's add an area light. I'll make sure to lock the render view to my camera. The scene is dark now. Let's shift the light to position. This light will act as the fill light to brighten up the model from the left. I will put the light in a lower position to cast longer shadows for contrast. I'll then make the light size bigger to soften the shadows, but turn down the intensity to lower the brightness. The light is looking a bit too yellow, so I'm going to color it a light blue to match our reference. Next, I'll create a dome light for the background. I'll also lower the intensity and change the color to something similar to the reference. I don't want the dome light to cast any light on the model, so I'll go to the Details section and switch the Diffuse contribution to zero. Now for the main light. I'll create a new area light and move it to shine on the model from the right. I'll turn the light spread down to zero to create a projected beam of light. Let's adjust the light a bit more to get a similar angle as in the reference. It looks better now, but we will lengthen the light vertically for the light to cover across the entire model. Perfect, this is close. Now to the final step, adding the gradient colors to the light. I will lower the intensity first so that the gradient will be easier to see. Next, click on Add Graph to add a shader to the light. Select the new shader and click on Edit Shader Graph. I'll rearrange the panels first to make it easier to see the results. I'll add a ramp node and connect to the color input on the light node. Then I'll slide the ramp knots to adjust the gradient. We can see that the gradient is going vertically across the product. I will switch it to horizontal instead. This works for our scene. Now the edges of the light is sharp. I will adjust the gradient to have black on the edges so that they fade off softly. Let's add some colors and try to match the colors used in the reference image. The middle will be a lighter orange. I'll add more knots for the edges and give them a darker orange red. Let's also increase the light intensity a bit more, and also slightly widen the light. I'm going to make some more adjustments to the ramp colors. Try to get them as close as I can to the reference. And I think this is pretty close to it. Overall, I feel that using gradient lights is a great way to make your lighting look more interesting than with just a single solid color. I hope this has been useful for you.